Hi, this is Mr. C from Dividen. This is module four of eight, how to import it. If you haven't yet seen the first video, I recommend you go back and watch that. We discuss uh, different things such as importing the functions.php file, which allows your images to click through to a, a particular page, etc. So let's get started on this one. So first you want to go to your website, Divi, Divi library, then uh, click on the import export button. Uh, then you want to navigate to the file that you want to upload, which you've already unzipped. Uh, we're doing the JSON first, the 4 of 8 Divi person module. So let's click on that one, open. Then you click the import button. You wait for it to do its thing. <clears throat> Just wait for it to reload as well. Once that's done, there we go. We can see the columns, they are all there. So now we want to go and install this. Very simply, we just go to pages. Let's create a new page. Then you want to add, we're just going to say 4 of 8 as a sample. Um, then we click use the Divi Builder. You want to select a blank template and then you want to click add from library down here we're not doing the whole page we're doing a module so you click on add from library then number eight there we go all imported ready to go so let's hit publish uh, and then we can go and look at the page so right click open new tab Ta-da! So you can see it's over there, but we've got no styles and it's not full width like it's uh, supposed to be. So uh, to resolve that, we're going to do the import of the style files. So let's go back to pages. Let's go to Divi. Let's click on theme options. We're there. So we scroll to the bottom. This is where we want to add the styles. For that, we want to go to the a CSS file which will then be 4 of 8 Divi person module cascading style sheets open that in your favorite editor text editor that is uh, open with notepad I've got that over here so you just want to grab all of this copy and then we're just going to insert that over here let's just make sure it's all good Yep. Okay, let's double check. Yep, so we're good to go. All right, uh, and then you can just click Save Changes. Uh, then we can go and have a look. If we reload, this, the animation style should be there. That's great. The next thing we want to do is make it full width. Uh, and for that, uh, we can simply just go Edit Page. You need to adjust the settings over here in this little hamburger menu click on settings and you adjust the gutter width to one this won't affect any other pages only this page so let's click save uh, and then we can view the page once more and uh, control shift r which is reload uh, maybe i should update the page <laughs> easy one to forget control shift r and there we go full width. Ta-da! So, so that's a wrap for this guy. Thanks for watching. Ciao!